In this video, we are going to discuss the status fields located at the bottom of the user interface in the middle of the console bar. They're located here and here. You can just barely make out my mouse, I'm sure. Now, currently, these two fields are blank. The field on the left will give you the status of what you have selected. So if I was to select this light that is currently on the floor, notice we get persistent level dot point light 110, with persistent level, of course, being the master level that we are working on right now. That would be important to know if we were uh, streaming multiple levels because if we streamed a, a light that was in another level we would get the name of that level so if I select a static mesh we get persistent level dot static mesh uh, <laughs> static mesh actor uh, 153 if I select a couple of static meshes notice we get two static mesh actors selected if I select if I hold down control and now select a light it becomes even more general with three actors selected so the whole point of this field is just to give you an idea of what it is you have selected now, the status field right next to it is an updating field that will give you uh, actually several different types of information. If you're moving the mouse around in an orthographic view, it's going to give you the coordinates of the mouse. So currently, my mouse is located at 0 in X, negative 212 in Y, and negative 44 in Z. And as I move to the different orthographic views, of course, I'm changing my coordinates as I move the mouse around. Now, if I select a specific actor and start to manipulate it in some way, uh, if I maybe drag the uh, actor up into the air, you'll notice we get an update in position. So right now I'm moving it in Z, and you can see that I've moved it 112 degrees. I can now move it down or rather to... 112 units. All right, thank you, units. Thank you. That's me saying degrees when I actually meant units. Beautiful. Uh, if I start to move it back down, you'll notice if I eventually get it down to zero, we see no change, which basically indicates to us that we have not moved the object at all. Now, also notice as I move the camera that it gives us the rotation of the camera in all three axes. And as I move the camera around like so, as I start to pan it around, we get the position of the camera. So you do, will get some sort of feedback in the perspective view, but it's based on where the camera is and what its orientation is. Now, as you were talking about uh, degrees, you can select an actor and switch the widget to rotation. Mm -hmm. And as you rotate, the rotation will be given in degrees. That's right. So, so it can be very useful for alignment if you need to hit a 45-degree angle or a 90-degree exactly. angle. And it'll tell you exactly where you are. Now, you might notice occasionally that there are some slight degree discrepancies. I have noticed occasionally you'll, you'll see that, but, I mean, 45 is showing up nice and sharp. So just keep that in mind. Sometimes it looks like it's kind of rounding in an interesting way. So with that, that is uh, both of the status fields available to you in the console bar.